Welcome to the Nordson Dage booth. I'm joined by Keith Bryant. He's a director of sales, I believe, uh, for Nordson Dage, and uh, he's got here to help uh, facilitate the launch of the X-Plane product in the United States. Uh, this product was, of course, originally launched at Productronica in November um, to great accolades, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going great guns in all of Europe now and it's uh, mm -hmm. becoming a talking point for a lot of our competitors, which mm -hmm. is a great thing for us. And already it's making headway into the US. Great. We did a, a soft launch before Apex purely because we didn't want to wait this long before we did everything. Mm -hmm. But a uh, few people have got interest in it. We've had one or two sales already, but uh, this last couple of days have shown uh, a lot of people an interesting technology and uh, we're sure it's going to increase our market share here pretty rapidly as well. Great, okay. Now of course the, the, the key feature or benefit of X-Plane is that it's non-destructive testing. Um, exactly right. Yeah. It's uh, almost as good as the full CT that you can get out of a 2D X-ray system but uh, without needing to cut up the board. Right. So if you're in PCBA and you've got, you know, we had a guy here yesterday, his average board value is uh, 27,000 US dollars. Oh. So he can buy X-Plane and yep. one of the boards that he doesn't need to cut up. Right. And everything after that's a profit. Right. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. So basically, if you've got any boards that are valuable and you need to do um, uh, yeah. CT scans. Yeah. I mean, value is one thing. Mm. Um, but obviously, if you're a contract manufacturer and you're building free issue parts, that's not nowhere near the same value right. but it creates the same problem mm. because if you get issued 10,000 boards and you've got to produce 10,000 boards you can't cut up 20 of them without getting that board made yourself and buying the components yourself and doing everything to replace the ones that right. you can't supply right. so yeah part of it is value and part of it is just ease of use mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay excellent you initially rolled this out to your New customers, new customers, new machines. With new machines. Okay. Yeah. So which machines are we actually, is it actually? Yeah, it fits the Ruby, the Diamond, and the flat panel versions of both. Right, right. okay. Uh, so um, what's the next stage for the, the rollout or the evolution of this product? Uh, the next stage for the evolution in three or four months time will be a retrofit package to earlier Ruby, earlier Diamond machines, and then maybe NT100s, NT500s, and NT950s. Right. But at the moment, we're so busy with the new ones that we've got, mm -hmm. we're uh, not worrying too much about retrofits at the moment. Right, right. Well, I think one of the reasons you're probably busy is, uh, is also because you were offering it free for, with, with new machines, is that correct? We were offering it um, almost free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dramatically reduced price okay. for anyone who bought a new machine and paid us the full value of the machine. Okay. So it wasn't quite a giveaway, it was close. But uh, yes, we're going to. That actually stops today. Really? Yes. But I'm hoping to sit down with my boss in a few minutes and get him to agree that we're going to roll it on for another three months. Wonderful. Because I have actually told a few people already that we're going to do it. So right. I'm right. hoping he's going to agree. Right. Okay. Well, watch this space and let's uh, see if uh, if we can ex extend this uh, this great offer because it really is a very unique product uh, yeah. to the market, um, and uh, I think it's going to do a lot uh, to, to help uh, users of Dage equipment. Yeah, for anybody in the PCBA business, it's a real bonus. Right. Um, our reps are very much behind it. In Europe, our distributors are behind it. And all the customers that have got it already are really loving it. So uh, we're hoping it's going to continue. Great. Okay. Well, thank you for the update, Keith. Um, again, I wish you continued success with it. Uh, and I'm sure it'll be equally popular here in the United States as it was in Europe. No problem, Thank Trevor. Thanks for giving me the platform. Thank you. Okay, this is Trevor Galbraith reporting from the Nordson Dage booth here at Apex.